Generic greetings! It's probably not going to be a big surprise to hear that I really like Robot Wars. I remember watching it as a kid and being excited for not just the obvious, which is big hunks of metal smashing into one another and breaking apart. That was all well and good, but I was also really enthusiastic about the design and build process, about what components were in the robot, why they worked, how they did their thing and how they connected to one another, what their function was, about the weapons that were on the robot and the motive systems and what was counted, to how, you, how you counted that, whether it be armour or speed or just shape of the robot and the whole meta and tactics surrounding it. it was really interesting to me and as of late the uh, second series of Robot Wars on the BBC the new Robot Wars has just finished and it's fantastic and it reminded me just how much I want a Robot Wars game but sadly there just isn't that game that scratches the itch I mean there's the old Robot Wars games which are very old and um a bit junky or fun, but, you know, they are of their time. Uh, there's a couple of new type ones, but they're all big mechs and stuff. It's not like Robot Wars. But then the closest to it is this series here. This is the second in the series. This is Robot Arena. And the first one, never played, too old. Third one, I have played. It came out in 2016. And the last time I played it, it was an unfinished pile of crap, which is why I've never featured it before. And all the reviews, even though it's officially out now, um, all the reviews seem to trend that way and say it's absolutely buggy and don't, terrible. Don't touch it. So, you know, I can't really comment on that. I've never tried it myself, but um, either way, I believe the uh, mostly negative reviews on there on Steam. And this one is the most supported, as far as I can tell. This is the uh, Robot Arena 2, uh, the DSL 2 Total Conversion specifically, which is uh, like a full shareware mod thing. You can click on the link in the description, download the whole thing for free, and try it out yourself. As far as I'm aware, the game is shareware now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a cold. And, uh, yeah, it essentially allows you to build a robot and fight with it, which is cool, I guess. I've been playing it for a couple of hours, and I thought I'd show you a little bit of the game. By the way, today's beverage is... Ah, Lem Sip Cold and Flu. Uh, it's a lemon-flavoured drink with loads of um, paracetamol and other such things in it, as well as a little hint of ginger, because I put that in there just to uh, soothe my throat somewhat. Anyway... What I'll do is I'll show you building a robot and then we'll go through it and hopefully fight and probably crash about three or four times along the way because the game is quite old, it crashes at the drop of a hat, it is very junky, the physics are old. Let's just crack on it anyway. So we've got a team HQ and we're going to go to the Genericans, which is our team that we've created. In fact, I'll show you how to create a team. You simply um, go to a new team. Uh, we'll call it the Genericans. Uh, something like that. Uh, team motto, plus one generic motto points and then we'll have uh, the blueprint with the calipers job done right and we'll click on that one so what we need to do is build a robot so we've got a new robot and the way you design your robot is you build up the chassis and then the like the, the overall shape of it and then you put in the components and then you program it and paint it and then you can test and fight with it and i'll be honest i don't think i'm going to make a very good robot but you know it's just for you know, it's just a, for testing purposes. Uh, you seem to be fighting the game every step of the way. It's not very intuitive. It's really dodgy. Um, sliders are iffy. But yeah, it, it's just understand that it is of its time. I think this is probably 2003, perhaps. I don't know. I know it uses the Havoc physics engine, and it was one of the, probably one of the first to do so. But either way, let's build our robot. So I think it's best when you're designing a robot to build it around the weapon. What sort of weapon do you want? Well, there's several different types of weapon. We could just make a box with a spike on the front, but that's no fun. So we're talking flippers, spinners, um, axe bots, that sort of thing. Now, because of the way the game does things, I think a spinner is probably the easiest, and also, in the current meta, it's probably the best, because it's a big hump of metal that spins around, and if you hit it, you pretty much die, or you die if you're not built as well as the other one. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it's really boring. I must confess, the whole spinner meta is really boring me in this latest series of Robot Wars. I hope they change it up for the third season, otherwise I'm probably not going to bother. Point front towards enemy Claymore robots do not interest me. I prefer a bit of a duel, a bit of a fight where they're dodging around each other and weaving and flipping or using different weapons. Yeah. Anyway, so let's make a robot. So if we base it around a spinner, should we go for... I don't know whether we go for vertical or horizontal, but let's put a... Let's put a little bit of a wedge at the front. So we'll start here and then we'll go along. And what you do is you draw your robot. And actually, how do we want to start this? Do you want it fairly big? Based on the size and what armor you put on and the components, it'll change the weight class. We're aiming for heavyweight. But let's go along and then across maybe. And then we could go in and have the wheels in like a little gap here and then go across. I mean, this is... Not really a design that is, uh, I was going to say any good, but it, hopefully it will be good. But um, I'm just making it for 
I'm just I'm just making a weird shape bot because we can. So there's our rough shape. It sticks out to the sides. Uh, hopefully the wheels will be in the middle. We could put them in these little wells here, although although we might have problems. What we then go to do, uh, what we do now anyway. We can also draw a circle or a rectangle. It's not a proper circle, obviously. It's all point. But we'll go to step two, which then you can see the overall size of it. So yeah, it's a bit too tall. We'll use this slider. Um, my experience with the sliders is, is terrible. Like they don't really go up and down properly. You're best off just clicking where the height you want your robot. We could have it quite high, but the the reason you would have different heights is because you want stuff inside it. Obviously, if you have it like really low like that, it's going to be quite difficult. Um. What I'll do is I'm going to then put a bit of a slant on this. So if we grab these and we can pull them back like that, you see, we can pull them in and you can get a slightly different shape robot. You see that? Yeah. Uh, actually, these ones we probably don't. We just want to drag that one there. That's fine. And can we drag it back even further? Um, that one we can, but uh, that might work. If we make the robot really low... So what we're trying to do is make a wedge for the robot to, um, we're going to have to drag these points. You can't drag some of the points because they would cause some clipping issues and stuff like that. I don't know what we want in terms of this, but we want a bit of a wedge so it sort of drives up and then gets hit by the spinner, which would probably be about this, about there, sorry. Um, perhaps, perhaps just where they are is about right and have the spinner around there, have a horizontal spinner. I think that's about right. Uh, do you want to make it up a little bit higher? Um, I think about there is, is about right. Okay, and we'll click finish, and there's our robot. It's done. No, it's not, obviously. We need to click armor and select our armor so you've got aluminium, plastic, things like that. As far as I can tell, they, all just ha they only have weights and they have um, hit points, whereas if, obviously, the game was done now, you would think that they would have different resistances, so things like concrete would have a high... Um, it wouldn't have very. Uh, it's 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 very. It's got very good compression. Uh, com compression resistance. Compressive resistance. That's the one. So you can press on it and squeeze it, and it's pretty much going to do nothing. But it's tensile strength. It's like snapping is poor. So you would have you know different weapons. It'd be, you know cause like you know if it was a concussive weapon, concrete really good. Aluminium, eh, not so much because it bends in. Anyway, so we'll go for titanium. No, we won't. That's really too expensive. We'll go for steel. There we go. Check a plate, and that'll finish it there. Okay, so there is our rough robot shape. Let's go design this is where we get onto the uh, internals of the robot so we can build it around the weapon or we can build it around the motors for the uh, wheels let's go for let's go for the motors first so we'll click on motors and you've got different types of motors a lot of these are added with the mod but um I think what we'll do, we'll go to this drive motor here, and you can see you've got the motor and the shaft, the drive shaft is this thing here. That's where the wheel will attach to, and this will attach to the base of your chassis by default. You can change that by adding different like points in it, but we don't need to do that. Uh, we can also change the orientation, so you can click on these pieces here, and that'll change where the uh, drive motor will be bit, like placed on. So if we put that in, say, I don't know, do we want to put the wheels in these outer sections? I don't know. Because they'll probably stick out, and we don't really want that. We could probably have tracks on it if we really wanted to, but um, what I want to do is have a very good turning circle on the robot. So what I'll do is have the wheels like that. So they're going to be very close together. It will probably make it a little bit unstable, but I I actually don't care. So we're going to put it like that. And we'll keep placing them. So we'll spin it around. And put the other one in there. And then what we want to do is change it so it's the other side. And then place them here. There's no mirror tools. There's no snapping tools as far as I can tell. Um, there's no copying tools. It is straight manual. Which, it, well, it is what it is. And then finally, spin it around. I'm just trying to line it up with the other, other, other motors, you see. There we go. Right. <clears throat> so we have four... Four uh, mortars. Excellent. Let's put some wheels on it. And again, you've got loads of different types of wheels. I want to put in a fairly small wheel, which only just touches the ground. That seems about right. There we go. One, two. Don't know why we're using air gun to put it on, but whatever. And four. Four. There we go. So, we now have a robot. It is classed as heavyweight. And, we, by the way we're going, I think it's going to be uh, heavier than that, but whatever. So, there's our robot. 
Motors, what else do we need? Well, we need power, which we can use battery. And we'll go for, say, the biggest battery we can add. No, we can't put the biggest battery in. We'll put in this thing here. Uh, it is 72,000 power units, meaning it can power four motors for three minutes. And that's what we've got. We've got four motors, so that'll do us quite nicely. And we'll put it in... Oh, now, I would like it in the center to keep the mass centralized, but, but, I think our weapon motor is going to go there, so we'll put it at the back. And then we need a robot control unit, so it's your speed controller, your receivers, things like that, and we'll put it in the back like so. So that means we can now drive this around. Uh, ish. Ish. Uh, let's, let's program it first. I'll do the programming and then we'll put the weapon on. So we'll go to programming and what you do is you get this uh, controller section and you have to actually put the buttons on. So we're going to click and drag that thing, which is an analog control. So it has variable rating from a plus 100 to minus, or minus 100 to plus 100. But in reality, we have um, the positive axis button and the negative. So we're going to say positive W, negative S, and then we'll put one on the other side and that'll be positive A and then negative S. D, so that's WSD, that's to move it around. But to program it, what you have to do is click on it and then click on the motors. So, we don't know uh, which way, because there's no like uh, feature on this to show you which way is uh, positive, as in like clockwise and negative rotation, we have to guess. So I'm just going to say spin clockwise on W and then counterclockwise on the other one. And it should be, uh, this is the problem. Let's just go to test area and we'll press W and we can see immediately it goes backwards. And also these wheels are nowhere near good enough because they are junking around all over the place. So we know that that is wrong. So go back to programming, click on that. We'll say counterclockwise, clockwise. So now if I press W, it should go forward. Well, it'll turn that way because we've only got one motor done. Excellent, that is good. So, we'll click on this one and that should be the other way around because the motor is ro uh, rotated round. No, I got it wrong again. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so, that'll be clockwise, counterclockwise. This'll be then... Actually, let's test that. Yeah, so it goes forward and it goes back. Excellent, right. So, this one... Let's just double check. So, that one is counterclockwise, clockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. So, this one... Uh, it'll be counterclockwise, clockwise. I think so. And then this one is that. I think that's correct. Um, the problem is I wouldn't know if it was wrong, would I? Because it would just drag itself. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you definitely know if it's wrong. Okay, yeah, it goes the wrong way. Right, fine. <laughs> At least we know now. At least we know. Right. So it can go forward and back, and now we need to make it go left and right. So this one will be uh, count clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, this one, uh, counterclockwise, clockwise. Now let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, back again. Uh, we'll change that to clockwise. Counterclockwise. Yes! Okay, so that works. So, going off this, that is clockwise, counterclockwise. This count... Uh, hang on. Uh, what's the same? Is that one and that one the same? No. So that should be that. And that. And that one should be that and that. Yes, okay. Right, there's a robot. So it can drive around. It can actually hit into things. If we just put in, say, cones, we can bat into cones quite well. Yes, uh, we probably need to change the wheels. I may put some bigger wheels on because they are a little bit iffy. But... As a proof of concept, it drives around. This is good. Right, bot construction then. Let's change these wheels to something a bit less crap. Uh, delete that wheel, delete that wheel. As long as you don't delete the motor, everything else is uh, okay. So it won't um, alter that too much. So uh, what sort of grip do we want? Uh, that's got how much grip? It's got uh, 1.05 grippage. And we want a bit more grip than that. That's a fairly nice looking wheel. I mean, I'm not going for an aesthetic choice here, but it's uh, also got very good grip and a lot of health. Uh, you can put tracks on it. Later on, look, you can see there's tracks and there's also this weedy big cheese wheel. <laughs> so let's go to uh, performance testing area. There we go. 
wheels are still dodgy, but it drives around. Excellent. Right. Now, the main focus, the weapon. So, what weapon do you want to put on? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Hang on. That's a beverage. Oh, God. QA. So nice. Right. So, it's sort of counterintuitive. Um, you need to put the weapon motor on first rather than the weapon. Basically because you need the mounting points. I'm guessing if they did a newish game you would have different mounting points on it and things like that rather than base it around the motor, but I don't know. There's, there's many ways of doing it. I, I can't imagine you going in and welding different points. Or maybe you would. Depending on how good it was. So we could have a big bar. I mean, that's a... F Ooh, that is a fairly big bar. That is a very nice bar. It's called Fluffy Blade. What else have we got? We've got a... MOE blade. I'm guessing these are actual robots. That is a uh, a Moros blade and then a tornado weapon. Which is small drum spinner. Yeah, it is. You've also got just a straight piece of flat bar. You've got a weird bear claw thing. Um, does 50 fracture and 2 normal? Maybe there is different damage types in the game then. Uh, there's a blade. There's an axe. There is a more blade. Oh, a more blade might be alright. Oh, yes! Right, a more blade is the way we're going to go. So we're probably going to go more blade or this thing here. So let's put our motor on. Let's go for a... What should we put on? So the different motors, they all have like uh, HP and then top speed and power. Uh, the ones with drive tend to have... Um, I think they tend to be geared down so they don't spin as fast. Whereas these ones do spin very quickly and the wheels just spin, there's no grip. Um, this one is my favourite. It's the Perm 132. Single most powerful motor available. It's a big ass motor essentially, and if we have the large because it increases, it just increases the belt and the pulley. And we'll click on that, and then oh, massive robot must not exceed. Oh, we can't exceed 800 kil kilos. So you know what? It's going to be too heavy. We're going to have to delete some of these wheels. Ah, well, this is going to be problematic. Uh, let's see what we, we've deleted those. It'll still function. This thing, it's just not as well. Anyway, let's go for a large piece here. And then what we'll do, we'll make it so the front of it... Actually, we might even put extra large. In fact, maybe extra, extra large. No. Extra large was fine. But we have to change the mounting point. Okay. There we go. And then... Uh, what's our weight? Oh, it's getting close. <clears throat> Let's go for 400 fracture to normal. We can't have it underneath the bot because as you can see it would clip in to our own robot and we don't want that because it would destroy it. So what about the lawnmower blade? Oh, it fits in. Only just but it fits in. Right. So, there's that. This, as far as I'm aware, will still drive. It does drive, but we've got a problem now. It's dragging the front on. But there is a fix to that. We can go to wheels all the way along, and then there's like a... Um, it's like a like a caster, essentially. Uh, actually, no, that's a caster. Uh, this is a balance caster. It's just a big dome. And we'll put it in the center about there. There we go. And if we go to testing area... It drives around, but it's... Oh, my God, it's really slow. We need to alter the wheels on this again. So, pot construction. There we are. <clears throat> so, this is the bit I really, really like. The Actually, doing the bouts, fine. You know, interesting, but... You know what? There's something just about messing around and building this that I really enjoy. Um, that's a big tyre, maybe too big. That is that is a car wheel. That's another car wheel. Um, a solid, extra-large wheel, heavier mod... Utilitarian version of motorcycle wheel. Too big. Solid rubber wheels. It's too high. Hmm. Are they just big tyres? Yeah, they're just tyres. Although, not far too tall. Um, combat rolls for many years. This will be like a go-kart tyre or something. Motorcycle wheels... Happy wheel. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to get the right height. That might be about right. 
Good grip as well. Mm, it's not too bad. You can see it's, it's it's shaking up and down because essentially the, these wheels are not round. You know, they are polygonal. They're just polygons. So you've got flats on all over it. You know, you would change that if it was on a car. <laughs> but, uh, game's a game. Right, so, we've got wheels, let's move on. So, we need to activate our weapon, and that's a fairly easy task, I think. We just need to go over to controller, add a button, which is just, we'll say, space bar, and then we activate that and put it on clockwise. And that should be it. So, drive around, and then space bar should activate the weapon. Yeah, you have to hold it, though. Put it on. Okay. Um. Don't like that. Let's add this, which is a switch. So it'll be a switch toggle. Yeah, so it's on, or it's off. I don't have to hold. Right, okay. So... <clears throat> It moves, it turns, it can't self-write, by the look of it, it will, no, it won't run upside down because of this. So essentially, I think what's going to happen, as soon as we get into our first fight, we're going to get hit once, and then flipped upside down, and then we'll lose. Yeah, uh, what I'll do, because of that, I'll make sure I try and kill the robot very quickly, and I, I was going to say, I'll put another more blade on the top, can we put a saw blade on it? We can. We can actually put a saw blade on the top, like just in just in case we end up losing the um, this thing here, which we will do. We will we will lose that. Good grief, that's a very big weapon. Um, we will end up losing that at some point, I reckon. So what we'll do? We'll put a blade on the top there. Right, which means if we lose this one, we've still got that one just to dig at them, but also, yeah, it's far too tall. Right, that is technically all we need, I believe. Um, what's that? Uh, oh yeah, that's a mini robot control unit. We don't need that. We don't need pressurized tanks. What are these? Um, basic smart zone, small. Attach front, rear, and side totally were detached chassis. I think it's like a... I think it's an area where you can attach stuff. It's essentially a, a way to break the physics. So you pull that on and then you can attach stuff everywhere to make a robot that's, um, well, not all built bolted to the base chassis. I think. I've never tried it. Right, there we go. Let's go to a uh, paint job. And we can either colour fill it. We can say uh, we'll have some edge lines on. So you fill the edge lines with, say, a dirty or uh, like a nice rim line there. Or let's let's go for surface layers. Or do you want to just, say, texture fill? Do you want to fill it with, say, the rust? Ugh, no, maybe not. A metal. Um, we could probably paint it. Let's, let's just colour fill. Colour fill of... Um, I don't know. That one. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Let's make it Ugh, like a mustard. Or just bright red. Yes! Okay, I mean, we could go full on clone bide and just call it clone bide instead of carbide. Carbide green. Are we going to go with carbide green? We'll go with carbide green. Um, edge lines. Will it put edge lines on? Oh, it will put edge lines on. Okay. Um, don't really like that. Shiny edge, no. Oh, do you have to remove them? Um, no, it's adding more, which is strange. Uh, that'll do. I can't be able to go around and change it. And we can have a decal on, can we? And have it... Gah! What's all these? Plates, pentagrams, skulls! Oh, good grief. Fireball? What sort of things? Uh, that one. No, no... Is there a scale? There is a size. You can scale it up in that case, then. We're going to call, call it Damn It. And um, it'll be on the back like that. And there we go. Right. So, uh, I guess that is pretty much it. By the way, if you want to change your chassis, if you click Design, it completely scraps the robot. You can't do it. Um, it drives around. It's got a spinny thing. It's very shiny. 
Right, that's it. Uh, we'll call it, um... <laughs> the, um, not very good in ton because it isn't. Uh, you can change the fold facing. We'll, ch we'll add the picture on. Hang on. We'll just zoom in a bit. And there we go. And that's it. It's the Not Very Goodington. Let's actually have a fight, shall we? Uh, and watch it. I, I reckon we'll lose the fight within the first 10 seconds. Depending on... I guess it really does depend on what robot we use. So we'll go to exhibition. And you can have deathmatch, battle royale, team matches. We'll just do a deathmatch 1v1. Uh, in terms of the arena, you've got all different ones. I... Could go with the actual Robot Wars Arena. Um, I think, the ro yeah, there's the Robot Wars Arena, but it's the old one with the flame pits and stuff. We're going to go with this one, the Tournament Arena, because it is essentially the most universal one, I think. It's got a thing around with it. It's got a bit of a platform, so if you flipped out, you do fall off and die. Uh, some choppers on the outside, and then we'll go with that one. Yeah, that's fine. And then we have to select ourselves, so we'll go to Team Genericans, and then we'll have this one, which is Heavyweight, they're not very good Ington. And then we'll say Computer, and then you've got all different types of um, robots here. And all of these are fantastic. Like, every single robot here, they will absolutely kick my ass. Uh, I mean, you've got some with, like, multiple flippers, and they're all touch the ground and stuff. Yeah, I'm a bit of a noob at this one. Let's go for, uh, what's this, Top Knot 2. This looks like an axe bot of some kind. And uh, we will click Start. And... It didn't crash. I'm very surprised. Right. So, here's our robot. Uh, we can drive around and... Oh, the Xbox coming in and it's immediately chopping us. Let's turn on our spinner and see if we can chop it up. Oh, yes. So, um, I've already started doing damage. There we go. Um, let's run away. Uh, just for note, you can see on the... Get away. Get away, get away, get away. Um, on the top left, you've got a little power meter. That's the little electricity in the blue. That is the power of my uh, batteries. You've got the red bit, which is damage. You've also got points, which is, um, well, the numbers. And then you've also got, like, a PSI alert and stuff like that. But um, I am... I am... I don't know how well I'm doing. You see, bits of his robots are off. Um, if we can... Oh, God. Oh, God. He's, he's chopped my main weapon off. Um, right. Use the little, use the little thing then. Come on, chop it. Uh, right, yeah, we're pretty much screwed now. Um, let's just push him into, into the side wall. Um, in terms of, in terms of speed, not very good. In terms of maneuverability, worse. Uh, in terms of armor, seems to be holding out quite well, but I'll be honest, having four axes, there's no way for me to attack a one particular side, and I think that's a bit of smoke coming out of this robot. Uh, can we change the angle of viewage? Yes, we can. There's the different viewing angle. Um, we can see I am uh, broken. There's another angle. There's another angle. That's a better angle. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this one, to be quite honest. Unless I can push it into that circular saw, which I am I am pushing it in there. Uh, you can see the smoke coming out the front of my robot now. I think that's the... Uh, the drive motor, probably. But let's see if I can push this guy in here, which we are managing to do. Oh, it's a bit dodgy. Oh, come on. No, use the back end. That's it. That's it. You can hear it scraping away. Go this way. No, 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 no. Um, come on. Come on. Oh, he's technically immobilized because I'm pushing him and he can't move. <gasps> I'm going to win this fight. Ow. That hurt. Don't do that again. And there we go. We won it. Let's do the <laughs> gratuitous spin around at the end. Um, my points were only 16,000. He was on 34,000, but I immobilized him technically by keeping him held. Excellent. I am surprised. Let's go for one that might be a bit more of a challenge. Uh, let's go for this thing here, which is called Second Sentinel, which is a flipper. I think I'm going to get ruined in the first... Well, I think it is going to be quite accurate, the Second Sentinel. So here we go. It's going to jump into me, and then yeah, straight away! Straight away! I'm in the air, and almost upside down. In fact, I am upside down, and it's not going to flip me, is it? It's just going to sit there. And keep me like that. Although I can drive, because his thing was on my motors there. Um... Yeah, this is not working out too well. Oh, God. Oh, my wheel's getting chopped off. Um, yeah, you can see the wheel's a little bit dodgy there. And my wheel's fallen off. I think my wheel has actually fallen off. Um, I'm technically classed as a mobile. Uh, although I am still moving. He's also doing the same, but I've got a worse countdown. So, yeah. 
Uh, my wheel fell off. This is um, <clears throat> actually the problem I've experienced with a lot of these robots, that most of them just seem to be flippers and they will run up to you, flip you, job done. Which is uh, unfortunate, because obviously the physics are quite old. You would think that that thing spinning around at, you know, a couple of thousand RPM, it would bash them to the left or the right. It doesn't really, it doesn't really work like that. Let's go for one that isn't as flippery. Um, they all seem to be flippers, though. Oh, that, don't know what that is. That's called snow job. Let's go for that, and uh, let's see what we can do. Oh my god. Um, I guess it's just based around speed. And pushing things around. The camera is terrible. Uh, F1 brings up the controls, apparently. Um, oh, my good grief. It's, uh, yeah, it's pushing as a... I would love to see what's happening. There we go. So it looks like it is just a big plow. And it's causing some damage. Oh, yes, it is. It's causing a lot of damage. I'm actually on top of it here. Come on, turn the weapon on. Look at the speed of it though. It just bats you away. Whoa, it actually flipped me for a second there. Don't know if you saw that. But it did. Um, I don't know how much damage I may be doing to it. Technically my points are higher. That means nothing when it can just continuously ram into me like that. And I'm trying to get around the back, but my robot is not really functioning as expected. It's um, very, very, very slow. Good grief. He's upside down, isn't he? Yes, he is. I just realised it's actually upside down, but I'm upside down, which means I've lost. Damn it. Unless he wants to push me back the right way. Um, he's managed to flip himself upside down because of physics. <laughs> not, not right physics either. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's me. That's me immobilised. Uh, it looks like, it looks like the coloured green of carbide did not, did not make. Uh, that, that robot, it, it, it didn't work. Match is over, there you go. Okay, we'll try once more. Once more. And see what we can get. So, uh, Team Dragon. No, that looks like a big flipper. What the hell's that? Industrial Coal Miner. That sounds interesting. Let's try that. And here we go. Oh, it's got, it's got a flipper by the look of it, as well as... I think that's... I think that is some sort of... Oh, yeah, it's like three... Three mincy jaws. Yeah, it's um, absolutely mincing my robot to pieces. I've now got no wheel. Um, good old camera. I'm on my side again and... Okay, yeah. You know what? I, I just don't think this robot's very good. Or rather, I, these, these guys are just in a completely different league to me. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to tap out. Um, maybe it's the arena. What else can we go for? Robot Wars Arena. Octagonal... Um, electric arena, that seems quite good, that electric arena, let's go for that one. And, uh, eject that. Is there not like a, what the hell is that? Grog the Vengeful, okay, let's try, try that one. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's like a, ones where Tornado's in it and all the old classic Robot ones, uh, Robot Wars ones. I actually think there is a Robot Wars mod, but I've not tried it. Let's just skip the intro. Let's see what happens. So, it looks like he's just spinning round there. Yes, it is just... Um, it is just spinning round. Do I do I dare touch that? Uh, oh, we did. So, it's spinner v spinner. Um, all he's doing is spinning round. Just gently tap it. It's technically almost... Because uh, it's not moving. Plus is a mobile. I think I just took something off it there. Um, yep, there's my there's my spinner off. The problem with only having one weapon is when it falls off, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Right, let's just... Let's just should we just drive into it and keep seeing what happens? Um, what's happening is... All of his ablative stuff... Is just coming off. Uh, oh, it's hitting the tire. It's hitting the tire. We don't want that. God, look at the damage on the front of my robot. It's all smoking. There's bit. It's not turning properly either anymore. It's also deforming, I believe. Yes, it's actually deformed. 
Yeah, the front of my robot's deformed somewhat. You know what? I'm just going to see if we can be destroyed. So far, it's all been tap out. Can our robot be can be can it be minced within an inch of its life? Actually, I'm probably best on going in here and pushing it into the center where the electric field is. I might be able to. Uh, I was going to say I might be able to get a win, but that's not going to happen. I guess a flipper would be the counter to that thing there, wouldn't it? God, look at the front. Look at the fr how dented the front is. It's really broken. Come on. But yeah, I mean, imagine if this game was made now, properly, not just like with the odd dodgy attempts that people try to do. Like, you would have anchor points, you would have deformation, you would have different materials, you would have different stresses, better physics, you would have all sorts of stuff. It'd be fantastic. I remember actually doing Robot Wars challenges with friends in Gary's mod, because you could make, like, well, yeah, you could make robots in that with uh, all sorts. Uh, you'd have to set some ground rules, obviously. You can't put explosive barrels on the front, but... God, look at the front of this robot. It's really deformed. Um, you can see there's a flashing alert on my robot. That's because it is pretty much broken, and I've managed to stop his spin. You can see most of his weapons are... Well, they're not on there anymore. Oh, he's spinning again. He's got his mace up and running. Come on. Come on. No, no. In terms of... Um, this match is done. Um, him. It timed out. Yeah, it actually timed out. I wasn't destroyed. Look at the front of that. If this was made of plastic or something, it would probably die straight away. Oh, well, we lost. So we won one out of many. Uh, either way, that is a little bit of Robot Arena 2, specifically DSL 2 Total Gun version mod, which is available. Link's in the description so you can check it out yourself. Like I said, it's, um, it is what it is. It's, it's a fun game. It is of its time. Obviously, the community has uh, kept it going somewhat, but it really just brings to light how much I want a new, shiny, polished, multiplayer Robot Wars game. If there's anything like it, even even close to like it, by all means, let me know, because I would love to play it. Links in the description, as I said, so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.